Next up, we have uh, Rule from Tropical. All right, let's give a big hand. Okay. Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Ruel. I'm from the Philippines and with me is my startup Cropital. So basically, Cropital is a crowdfunding platform that helps local farmers to gain access to funding. Okay. So let me start first by introducing Mang Robyo. Mang Robyo is a farmer in the Philippines. He's 56 years old and he represents the typical Filipino farmer we have now in the country. He has been farming all his life. He did not really graduate elementary and he's really already part of the aging population. And what's worse is that in the Philippines, the average income of a local farmer is about 50 US dollars per month. And what's even more worse is that all these farmers, or majority of them, lives in debt, lives in a cycle of debt. Among Mang Romeo are 10 million other Filipino farmers who have been experiencing the same problems. And the majority of them live below the poverty line. Understanding their situation and looking at it on a macro and micro perspective, we have identified two key problems hindering these farmers from gaining better opportunities. First is the lack of funding, followed by the very low productivity. And so we have Cropital. So Cropital is a crowdfunding platform that features farmers that need funding. In Capital, we onboard farmers that have been selected thoroughly with the assistance of the local government unit and has been verified by the municipal agriculturist. These farmers are also provided with crop insurance, access to agricultural experts, and access to an available market or a contract grower. So how does it work? So users, anyone in the world with access to the internet, could go to the website, see the farmers who need funding, select or choose which farmers who he or she wishes to fund or to invest to, select which crop and what amount to fund, and once the farmer has been fully funded, he will be provided with the resources he needs to continue to start farming or producing the crops that the market is waiting. So once the produce has been sold to the market, the net profit, the net profit is computed and is shared between the farmers, the backer or the founder, and the company. So we launched Capital last year, late October. And upon launching the website, we posted five different farmers who need funding. And in three hours time, all the farmers have been fully pledged. And we were able to remit all payments about 10,000 US dollars in three days time, coming from different countries around the world. Business model, we charge 5% for every transaction to our users, and the profit is shared between the farmers, the funders, and the company, Capital. But again, Capital is not all about profitability. We aim for strong social impact. These are the three principles that we are following or guiding us in selecting the farmers we onboard on our website. First is we want empowerment. Next is we want increase in productivity and ultimately we want their income to increase. Capital is being is founded by three members, Ruel Amaro, Everett Obialas, CEO, and also Rachel, the CTO. We are back and have been boosted and accelerated in different countries all over the globe, in the Philippines, in Malaysia, and also in the Netherlands. We are also supported by different organizations globally, such as Facebook and the US Embassy. Again, Capital, grow your money, help our farmers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, a crop-related crowdfunding site. There's lots of, like, crowdfunding has been really a really hot topic in the last few years. Like, uh, it sounds like a very, initially very small uh, uh, market to focus on crowdfunding. Did you guys first think of some ideas of doing something more broader? Or, like, what's the story like? 
how come not like Kickstarter or, or like uh, can you open up that little bit? Well, actually, in the Philippines, agriculture is very popular as a way for people to gain money. And um, in terms of the market size or the amount that being funded to this farm is actually it's a multi-billion business that other people are just not seeing. It's an opportunity that we want to tap for two main reasons. First is that it is an opportunity for these people, particularly the farmers, to make use of the technology to gain access to funding which is scalable and at the same time low cost. And I believe um, Paul Hero mentioned that the poor, it's, it's very expensive to be, to be poor given the very high interest rate that people are charging to you. And the next one is its social impact. We saw the potential that with this platform, farmers not only in the Philippines, but all, all, all over the globe could, could, could benefit from. So you mentioned that some of the, the farmers, are they, their income is not so high. Uh, how is their IT literacy level? Do they need some training to start using this or like do they figure it out right away or how, how do you see it? Okay, so for farmers, they don't really need to go to the website or the platform to gain access to it. We have community partners and we partner with contract growers who have direct access to this for farmers who already have systems when automatic these farmers and what we do is we just conduct profiling to get all the information we need and to onboard them on our website. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Um, so this is the uh, end of our session. Can we get the speakers one more uh, time on stage? So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, uh, come and talk to us. We'll be hanging, hanging out uh, over here. Uh, let's give a big hand, one more time, big hand to the, all of these guys. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much.